I'm assignment manager Mark Lou here at the desk. We've got some breaking news to tell you about an RV on fire in South LA and it's catching the building on fire next to it. Let's go out to some live pictures from SkyCal. You can see right here, this is taking place on East 101st Street. It's near Century and Central in South LA. SkyCal was in the area looking at traffic near the 110 and the 105. Saw smoke coming up from a neighborhood, went over here and saw this, this RV completely engulfed now. It looks like it may have been used uh, by the unhoused population here. Uh, there didn't appear to be anybody around. Now, LA City Fire has not gotten on scene yet. No firefighters here. And you can see this general store that right here is on the corner is also starting to catch fire. Now, I've been trying to listen to LA City Fire frequencies. I have not heard a call out yet for this fire. So it's unclear if anyone has actually spotted this fire and called 911 yet. We've seen drivers go by and we've seen a couple of pedestrians, but if no one actually calls the fire department, they may not know about this until they get an alert on their screen. Now, uh, we are going to keep SkyCal overhead and look here. You can see there are some people here pointing in. There is the first LA City fire engine now, engine 64 uh, from the South LA area. It probably is going to be handled by just the firefighters here. You can see them getting out very quickly. They will get their hose lines out. They carry a supply of water on the truck. Very likely they're just going to begin attacking this fire right here. This RV looks like it's starting to scorch the wall of that general store. Don't know if it's open this early yet. We haven't seen anybody come in or out, but also we haven't heard of any reports of any injuries here. And when SkyCal got overhead, they did not see anyone on the sidewalk here. No one sort of uh, pointing out where this fire was. But now that LA City Fire is here, you can see how quickly they get their fire hose out. They're going to charge it with water. Very likely get this out in short order. One engine is probably all that it's going to take here. Hopefully it is not extending into the interior of that general store. It looks like it's a brick wall. So really what we're getting there is just paint damage on the side. But uh, these uh, RVs, they go up very quickly. A lot of times there's a lot of material on the inside of them. It just adds to the intensity of the flames. And you can see already firefighters first getting that building protected. They want to make sure that the structure does not catch fire because already they can agree that the RV is a total loss here and there doesn't appear to be any injuries inside. So they are going to focus on doing structure protection on that general store first. Looks like they're going to just survive there. That store is just going to survive with some cosmetic damage on the wall. Then very quickly, I'm sure they're going to start putting water as they are right now on the flames of that RV. They'll get it out quickly, do a quick search, make sure there's no injuries, and then there will be an investigator come see if they can figure out how that fire started. That's it here from the desk. I'll send it back to you. Oh, what a dramatic morning, yeah. Mark. Thank you for that.